cricket's always been seen as a cozy club, but now the sport is making an audacious move by entering the massive American sports market that, as I mentioned previously, is worth over $80 billion. Now, Tom Dunmore, who is Vice President at Major League Cricket, joins me now from Dallas to tell us more about Major League Cricket. Tom, thank you for joining me. I'm, I'm going to start by asking you a very direct question. Is uh, the United States ready for cricket? I think it is. You know, cricket was popular here in the 19th century, but it's been a long, long time coming. Uh, but now we have millions of cricket fans already here in the U.S., particularly the South Asian diaspora. There's been uh, an awful lot of immigration from uh, South Asia, as, as you probably know, over the last couple of decades. So that's brought over a ton of cricket fans who, who love the sport, who watch the IPL and international cricket uh, on the dedicated uh, TV channels like Willow TV here big viewing numbers, uh, and now we get the chance to bring them a domestic league for them to follow, featuring those same sort of star players that are in the IPL, uh, and that now they can watch it in person in Texas and North Carolina this summer or, or on TV at a good time uh, in prime time. So uh, we'll find out soon how strong the demand is, but we're pretty excited to, to see what the uh, pickup looks like. Okay, I can see that excitement on your face, but Tom, it's always been sort of viewed as an niche international sport in the US that sort of has always catered primarily to the Indian and the Caribbean diaspora. What's changed and what do you think has sped up this process towards a first T20 league? I think a lot has changed uh, in sport in general in America over the past couple of decades. We've, we've moved away from just the big four sports. We've seen the rise of soccer, uh, particularly in the US, the rise of F1. I think fans here are more open now to following different international sports and there's ways to follow it that weren't possible decades ago because you can obviously watch it all on TV or stream it or follow along you know, on social media. So that's opened up opportunities for new sports to come in that, that just weren't there before. Um, and the, the big stars of, of T20 cricket, when people get a chance to see them play live here in, in America. Uh, you know, when you see a, a Shadab Khan or a Rashid Khan or a, a Faf Duplessis out, out here, um, you know, we, we think it's going to be pretty obvious how incredible these athletes are. And for a country that loves baseball, to see a different type of bat and ball game played with an incredible level of skill and athleticism, we think that's, that's really appealing to the uh, American audience. Tom, Major League Cricket is coming at a time when the world's greatest footballer is heading to America. In fact, he's just landed and you mentioned how big uh, soccer's become. It's a very crowded market. You know, the big daddies, including the NBA, the NFL, the MLB, there's even the PGA Tour who's in the news. They've been around for ages. So how do you think you will be able to manage to garner a share for yourself? We're not expecting to become, you know, a mainstream sport overnight and have, you know, 80 million fans tuning in. We don't need to do that either. Uh, we have our core platform of, of fans that love the sport, the, the diaspora from cricket-loving countries and numbers in the many, many millions already. And that's already makes us uh, one of the top five or six cricket markets uh, in the world anyway. If we can start to appeal to just even a small sliver of the rest of the American sports audience, one or two percent, uh, then because of the size of America and the commercial power of America, uh, you know, we have a great chance to succeed and, and be one of the, the handful of top cricket markets in the world. And this is a country that loves a bat and ball sport, loves baseball. Uh, so if you can just convert a few fans to also love cricket, they don't have to give up baseball, um, then, then we're going to do really well. But, but even just with the base of existing hardcore cricket fans, we're in a great position here. You know, ticket sales, this first season, we've already sold out opening night on Thursday. Tickets are selling really well for the remainder of the games. We're going to build stadiums in, in uh, six cities across the country. So, uh, you know, it's a long-term plan, uh, and we believe it's uh, an incredible market for it. Okay, let's see if cricket can crack the American court. Tom Dunmore, thank you so much for your time and inputs. Wishing you the very best for a successful inaugural season. Great. Thank you so much.